Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. Welcome back to the range. You just tuned in to the second video in a series of videos I'm doing featuring this tiny revolver versus common household items. This is a North American Arms 22 short. It's a very small five shot revolver, single action. I went over how to load it and everything on the first video in this series. I'll have it linked in the description below if you want to check it out. But I'm not going to go through all that again. We're pretty much going to jump right into things. The ammunition I'm using is a 27 grain hollow point loaded by CCI ammunition. Rated at 1105 feet per second. Here's the box if you want to see that. Now that's not the actual velocity that we're getting out of this tiny revolver. But I will do some chronograph work in a later video in this series to see what we are actually getting. Last Wednesday, I shot a deck of cards. It did not go through the deck of cards. It stopped in the ninth or 10th card, if I remember correctly, but it did not go through the entire deck. Today, I'm gonna shoot a bar of soap. I got some ivory soap here. Now this is thicker than the deck of cards, but of course soap is nowhere near as hard. I mean, it's fairly hard, but it is nowhere near as hard as a deck of cards. So I think we got a pretty good shot of going through this bar of soap today. And if we do go through it, I've got plenty of this stuff. So we'll set some more of it up and see how many bars that it'll go through. So let's jump straight into it. Okay, so I've got my bar of soap set up the exact same way that I had that deck of cards set up in the first video. I've got this old wood clamp holding it in place. Well, it's time to find out. <laughs> I can see through the hole from here, so I can already tell it went through. There we go. Like a peephole right through that soap. That's the front side. We'll swing around here to the back. So, I guess the question now is, how many bars of soap will that bullet go through? All right, I've got six bars of soap here. I've got the back one clamped to the table. The first five are just sitting there, but I think having that back one clamped will brace them enough to see if we can catch this bullet. Or do you think this bullet will go through all six bars? That's a possibility too. Let's find out. All right, let's see how many bars of soap the little 22 short hollow point will penetrate. All right, so it knocked one. The front one fell off on the ground. So we'll pick it up here. And it did go through all six bars. So it wouldn't go through a single deck of cards, but it went through all six bars of my soap here. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, look at that. It hit sideways on this one, so we, we can actually see the bullet tumble through the bars of soap. Look at that. That one also hit sideways. There's the last bar. <laughs> what about that? Okay, so I actually found three more bars of soap. I put those in the front. These three have not been shot. The others have a bullet hole through them. But I'm still gonna 
see and hopefully I don't hit that same hole see if we can catch that bullet so I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten bars of soap there all right so I'm gonna try to aim a little bit low I hit those other soap bars right dead in the middle I'm gonna try to aim a little bit low to avoid hitting into the same bullet hole and see if we can catch this little bullet it's doing amazingly well in the soap when compared to the cards which the deck of cards is a much harder target than soap of course but it still surprises me a little bit here we go Here's where I hit. Go around and look at the back side. It didn't come out the back. That hole right here is from before. It's up high on the bar of soap. So we caught that bullet in here somewhere. Let's take a look. Through the first one, second one, third one, it's tumbling. It hit sideways there fourth one we know it went through at least six because we've already done that fifth one here's our sixth one seventh one it's it's tumbled back around and left a, a nice good looking little hole there ah <laughs> look at that it's poking out the back of the seventh bar of soap it left an indention on bar number eight so when i set those six bars up if I'd have set up just a couple more bars, we'd have caught it the first time. But that's okay. That, that made it more interesting. But it stopped in the seventh bar. Cool. All right, I'm going to dig that bullet out of the bar of soap. <laughs> Look at that. No expansion whatsoever, which... I, at such low velocities, I wouldn't think it would, but it did expand in that deck of cards. But I think that was more of just because that surface was so hard that the bullet wanted to flatten out. Now it did, soap did clog the hollow point, so maybe it's just because it clogged the hollow point up, but I just don't think it's got enough velocity to expand that bullet in a softer medium like the soap we use today. That bullet looks just like you could reload it. I mean, it's barely got just those little rifling marks on it. That's all there is to it. That's the base of the bullet. There's the hollow point. So you guys made a bunch of suggestions of things for me to shoot with this little revolver. I told you guys I'm going to post a video each Wednesday evening from now to the end of the year. Uh, I appreciate all the ideas. I got a, got a ton of them to choose from now. I seriously thought I was going to have trouble coming up with enough ideas, but you guys really came in and saved the day. There was one suggestion that I wanted to talk to you guys about that kept coming up over and over in the comments. That has to do with the ammo I'm using. Uh, people wanted to know, if, you know, if I'm wanting to see what this little revolver would shoot through, why am I using hollow points? Uh, why, why not use the round nose? And hey, that's fair enough. I'm going to let you guys decide. I've got both. I just, the, the hollow points are always more interesting to me when I'm shooting stuff like this. But you, you may get more penetration out of the round nose, especially if it's something that'll, uh, that it'll, the hollow point will expand in. We didn't see any expansion today. But I'm going to let you guys choose. You leave me a comment. Would you rather see me finish this series from, from this point on out with the hollow point? Or the round nose i'll show you both of these here's the round nose and here's the hollow point the round nose is a 29 grain bullet rated at 1080 feet per second while the hollow point is a 27 grain bullet rated at 1105 feet per second 
So personally, I don't think there'll be that much difference between either one of them. But I'll let you guys pick it. If you want me to want to see the round nose, comment round nose. If you want to see the hollow point, comment hollow point. If that's what you want me to continue on with. And I, I read every comment you guys write. You, you guys might not uh, believe that, but I read every single comment. And I will count these up. And whichever one you guys pick, that's what I'll go forward with. That simple. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. But that's really about all I got. You guys always remember, if somebody asks you to give up a little of your freedom for the greater good, that freedom is the greater good. I'll talk to y'all again soon.